Hi, in this video I will show you 10 easy and quick hairstyles. These are great for beginners and everyone who doesn't have much time for hair. So they are great for back to school hairstyles and daily life. Don't forget to click the thumbs up for this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. First hairstyle of this video is easy updo, which is great for daily life and occasions. First, take all of your hair and put it down on ponytail. If you want to updo higher, you can place the ponytail where you like. Then create the flip. Push your fingers through your hair under the ponytail and pull the hair through. Next, I pancake the itches to create more volume. Without pancaking, you get tighter and more lasting hairstyle. Next, I separate the rest of my hair in three pieces. Like this. And then I just braid regular three strand braid. Bring the strands from side to the middle. I pancake also this braid to get more volume for this hairstyle. Once you braid it until the end of the hair, secure the braid with an elastic. Then I create the flip in the same way like in the beginning and then I secure the shape using puppy pins. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. In real life, this takes about 2 minutes to create. Next look is French braid ponytail. I use first some water to my hair. Then I create the rectangle part line on top of my head. Next, I share three equal sections on the front of my head. Then I bring the strands from side over to the middle, right over. Then I add some hair to the left side and bring the left strand over. Then I add hair to the right strand and bring the right strand over to the middle. Add hair to the left strand and move the hair strand over to the middle. Add hair to the right and move the right strand over to the middle. Keep on repeating this pattern until you braided the whole section into this braid. Then I create the ponytail. I press my hair up with the braid and then I take bubble and secure the ponytail. And here's the final result. This hairstyle took in real time under than 5 minutes. For the next hairstyle, I create the middle part line to myself. If you want, you can also create the side partings for this look, but personally I think it's not necessary. I use some water, so braiding is a little bit easier. Then I take small section of hair from the front and start to twist. Then I add hair and twist again. Basically, you need only one hair strand for this look. Just add hair, twist a couple times, add again more hair, twist again. All you need to remember 
is that you twist every time on the same direction so the twist won't undo. Once you've braided the long enough, secure the braid with an elastic. Then I repeat the same to the another side. Add hair, twist, add hair, twist, add hair, twist. Keep on repeating until the second braid is on the same length as the first one. Next, I create super quick and easy knot buns like this. It looks kinda a little bit bow, I think. Then I just spin the end inside these loops and secure the shape with puppy pins. First, I secure the end of the hair so it won't undo. Next, I repeat the same with another bun. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. This hairstyle took also under than 5 minutes. Next, I create the easy waterfall braid. You need 3 strands. Start from the top and bring the strand over and under two another strands. Then bring the topmost again over and leave the waterfall strand. Add hair, bring it over and under. Then again the topmost over and leave the waterfall strand. Add hair, over, under, and again topmost over, leave the waterfall strand. Add hair, bring it over and under, again once over from the top. Leave the waterfall strand, add new hair, bring it over and under, and then the topmost again, over. Add hair, over, under, and topmost again over. Here's some closer view of this technique. Once the braid is on the right length, keep on repeating few stitches and secure the braid with elastic. Here's the final look. This hairstyle took under than 2 minutes to finish, so it's super quick. Next look is super easy and cute flower half up. Take one strand from back, one strand from the right side and yet third strand from the left side. Make sure all the strands are equal. Then start to braid normal 3 strand braid. The idea of this hairstyle is I pancake the braid to get more volume. After pancaking the both sides of the braid, I keep on going. Bring the strand from side over to the middle and then the another side over to the middle over to the middle and over to the middle you can also bring the strands from sides under to the middle when you braid it until the end of the hair secure the braid with an elastic Then I spin the braid to the flower like this and then I secure the shape with puppy pins. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. 
This is also super quick to do and it takes only 2 minutes. This is probably my most used go-to hairstyle so I must include this hairdo on this video. First, take all of your hair in and leave some accent hair out of the ponytail. Then press the hair and take the bubble to secure the ponytail. Next, I spread all of the hair around the ponytail like this. This is supposed to be messy bun, so it definitely looks that. Then I take the another bubble and create the loop like this. Once it's secured, I pull the hair out to get more volume and messier look. After that, I take small piece at a time starting from the back and create the loop pulling the hair through the bubble take another loop and secure this is so fun because you don't need any pins or other stuff to create this shape and it actually lasts very well so all you need is two bubbles And here's the final result. This hairstyle took only one minute to accomplish. For the next hairstyle, you need a ponytail. Then I take some water and use it for my pony. Then I press the ponytail well and start the braid. First, take a section of hair and separate that section in three pieces. Start to bring hair from side over to the middle. Left over, right over, add hair from the right side, left over, add hair, right over, add hair. Left over, add hair, right over, add hair. After the first few stitches, I start to add hair sections from behind the ponytail, so from the opposite side of the braid. That's how I can create the pattern more visible at the end. When you braided all the hair in, secure the braid with an elastic. Then I take a poppy pin and pull it through the braid inside the ponytail in the way that it keeps the braid a little bit higher. That's how the pattern pops up a little bit better. And here's the final result. This hairstyle took about 2-3 to three minutes to accomplish. Next I create another easy and quick ponytail style. 
Create a ponytail, but don't add all of your hair into the pony, leave small pieces under the pony. Share the section under the ponytail in two. Next I push my fingers under the ponytail like this and then I take another hair section under the pony, bring it under the ponytail to the top of the ponytail and then pull the hair strand using your fingers through the pony, kinda under the place where the ponytail is secured. Then I take the another strand, bring it again under the ponytail. Then I pull my fingers again through the ponytail and pull the hair strand through the pony. And here's the final result. This is super quick hairstyle and you need under the minute to create this look. So this is a perfect last minute hairstyle. Next, I create the simple half of style using just simple three strand braids. So, take a section of hair, separate the section in three equal pieces, and then start the braid. You don't need to add hair into this braid, just bring the strands from sides over or under the middle one. I pancake these braids to get more volume for this hairstyle, but this works very well without pancaking as well, so if you want to style your hair a little bit faster, just skip the pancaking. Then I take the braids and secure the braids under the starting point of the another. So first I take the leftmost braid and secure that using the puppy pins under the place where the rightmost braid begins. Then I repeat the same to the another side. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. This hairstyle took about 3 to 4 minutes to accomplish. And yet the 10th style of this video. Take your hair and separate it in two pieces. Then separate the smaller piece from the another section. Bring that section over the next strand and under the next. Then turn around. Bring the smaller strand over the next and under the next. Then turn around. Bring it over and under. To keep smaller strand big enough, I add time after time little bit hair from the bigger sections. Now I leave section from the leftmost strand out of the braid. Then I bring the strand over and under. Then I leave strand from the right side out and bring the smaller strand over and under. Then I leave again the strand from the left side and 
and print the smaller strand back under the strand then turn around bring it over and under leave the strand of hair out of the braid bring the smaller strand over and under then leave the section out of the left strand turn around with the small strand and bring it over the left and under the right strand keep on repeating this pattern And here's the final result of this hairstyle. This braid took about 6 minutes from me. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it and I will see you soon again. Have a lovely day.